Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of your Vroid Studio cartoon 3D avatar, the manga avatar, into the CC5, the character creator 5, at the same time make everything available for the eye bling, visim, the facial expression animation, and everything will be ready for the iClone 8. 3D animation as well, and I'm going to show you a demo. Vice and testing. One, two, three. Testing completed. So, start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step how to make this from the v Studio to Corrector Creator 5, the CC5, and finally in Icron 8 as well. Alright, let's go. Alright, now everything will start from the Vroid Studio. Now I have this 3D avatar that already designed. Then the next step, what you need to do is just export as the VRM. So once you see this, just click export and here, scroll down. You have to fill the avatar names and the creator. Next, scroll down, click export. Now it is exporting, just wait for a while until it is 100%. It is going to pop out a conversation at here. So as demo, I'm going to just save it on my desktop. The avatar sample app, I just click save. Then it is going to save as a VRM file. Next, we are going to convert the VRM file to become the FBX. So you need to just go to my video description and get the Vroid to FBX converter. Just get this. Once you already get this, open the Blender 2.9 that's already inside the folder. Open the Blender. Next, back to the folder again. Right. Then just back two times. Just click here. Up. So this two, we are going to install this two plugin. So click Edit. Preferences, click the add on, click install from the desktop, the Vroid to FBX converter. First, you install the Catch Blenders plugin, then activate it. Next, click install again, the VRM add on for Blender release. Activate it. Make sure both are already installed and activated. Then, click the empty area, just press A and press delete button. Next, just press N, you should be able to see the cats plug in at here. Click the triple line here, just import the VRM from the desktop just now. The avatar sample app, just double click it. Then, once you see this, done. Next, click this and make sure already tick. Then, Click fix model and wait for a while. It is going to fix everything. Alright, done. Once you've done this part, just save this blend file and export as FBX. Control Shift S to save on the desktop. I'm going to just name this as model01. Save. Then export the FBX file. The path mode, you have to make sure you choose copy and click here. This setting is to make sure that all of the material texture were saved inside the FBX file. So now click export FBX. It will appear at here, the FBX file. Right now, once you already exported the FBX file, you cannot see the file extension, just go to the view option. View. Then, hide extension for non file type, just click OK. You can see the file extension. Alright, next what you need to do is just open the CC5, the character creator 5. Then, just drag the FBX file, drag and drop into here. Then choose the character, the humanoid, just click apply. It is going to import the FBX file. All 
Right now you can see it already successfully imported. Next, what you need to do is just map the bone. Just double click. So you can you can just go and map the fingers as well right here. But as there are more, I'm going to just skip this process. Because I just show you, I just want to show you how to import the Vroid avatar. So I'm going to skip the, the fingers and just take it easy. I'm going to just map, map the skeleton in general for all of these most important skeletons, the bones. I just map it first. Alright, done. Once done already, just click active. And click the characterization. Done. Next, we are going to adjust all of the material texture. Just go to the material here, click. So for this one, copy and paste. We are going to generate the opacity map one by one. So you just observe the face later. It is going to... going to generate the opacity map just make it one by one until all finish you can see this for example this this spec the opacity map is not generated yet so we have to generate one by one until finish all of this It may take some time, it may just take about 2 minutes to just finish generate all of the opacity map. You can see now it's almost done. And this is the last texture. And next we are going to just make it look like the 2D. So what you need to do is just scroll up here, click the first one and scroll down, hold the shift, click the last one. Then the self illumination, we are going to maximize it. Now you can see everything look beautiful just like whatever you've seen in the Vroid Studio. Now everything really look nice and it already become a 3D avatar. It already become one of the CC avatar. We are going to save this. But before that, we are going to install, we are going to import the morph. Just click the facial profile editor, just edit the expression. And here, click the, the FBX file. Then, just choose the FBX file just now. It is model01.fbx. It is going to import all of the morph. Then the target category, just choose, just type morph, then click OK. So all of the facial expression morph were imported at here. And now we can have a check at here, the angry expression, the fun, Joy. Is that all work normal? Yeah. Sorrow. Surprise. It's okay, right? Angry. Alright. 
once you've done this part, then you already can use all of these the facial expressions that originally from the Feroid Studio. So now back to the CC5, the character creator 5. Just save it first click file. Save the project as but before that before you save it you better click here again. Just and then back to the content. Here click file save save the project as on the desktop I'm going to just name this as the model01 click save alright next is to set up the facial expression and the vice sim you just need to go to the facial profile editor at here edit the expression so the morph you already imported just now so next is the vice sim what you need to do is under the morph, scroll down until you can see the open mouth. That is the the open mouth A like this. So you drag this, then click the vice sim. You can see the V open. Just click the quick update. Done. Next is the eye blink. So you go to the morph until you can see it. Close the eyes. Close eyes. The eye close. This one. Drag. Then go to the eye blink. Here. Alright, so you cannot choose that one. You have to just make sure left and right separately. So first start from the left. Left eye close. Go to the eye blink. The left, you click this to quick update. Then go to the morph again, scroll down until you can see the, the mouth, sorry, the closed eyes, right hand side. Then go to the eye blink, up quick update the eye blink, right, done. Alright. Once done already, next we are going to test it in iClon to test the vice sim and the facial expression so now click file make sure you already open the icon 8 then add your cc4 just click file export as i avatar and click export and as demo i'm going to export it on my desktop the model 01.i avatar then this i avatar is on my desktop i drag and drop to here. So next we are going to test the Bison. I click here to create a script. Then choose TTS. I choose a female version of the voice. The pitch. Just make it maximum. So I here I type Bison. Testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Then I click OK. It is going to update the device. Sim. I'm going to just test it to see whether it will talk or doesn't open the mouth. Device sim testing. One, two, three. Testing completed. Done. All right. So everything looks normal. Next, we are going to test the facial expression. Just click the face key, click OK. And you should be able to see under the modified here, the morph. For this morph, you can control the facial expression. For example, this is angry, fun, joy, sorrow, surprise. So we try to make the animation. So play. Try some testing. Make it angry again. One. Fun. Joy. Two. Three. All right. Try. Testing. Buy some testing. One. Two. Three. Testing completed. Now you can see all of the facial expression morph. 
are able to, to make the animation. At the same time, the vice seem also okay. We are going to test the body animation. The body animation, I'm going to just choose from here the under the item. Then animation, scroll down, go to the motion, human female. I'm going to test, perform the add-ons, drag and drop to see the animation will be okay or not. All right, seem everything work normal. So now I check the animation, the motion. I'm going to delete this motion, delete it. Everything start from beginning, drag and drop. Vice I'm testing. One, two, three. Testing completed. All right, done. Now I already successfully made the Vroid Studio 3D avatar to be available for CC5, the character creator 5. At the same time, everything will make ready for the Icron, Icron 8 animation, the Icron 8 3D animation. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If, if you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!